Hey, what's up everyone? It's Asad here. Welcome back to the 52 Quarts channel. Uh, sorry for the delay since the last video. I've been working on something really big in the background here. Um, it's a bit too early to discuss the details, but when the timing is right, I'll let you know what that's all about. Really excited about it. Um, but yeah, for the time being, uh, we are continuing on with the intro to card magic series. Uh, this is a full course that I've been putting together to help out those of you who are just getting started out in this thing, or those of you who just kind of want to revisit the basics. So uh, if you want to sign up for the full course, it's completely free. Uh, link will be down below for that intro to card magic course. Okay. In this video in particular, we are gonna be going over the In The Hands Riffle Shuffle, which is one of the more common and one of the more uh, visually interesting methods for shuffling a deck of cards. If you're interested in card magic and doing card tricks, you really ought to learn how to do the shuffle. So let's go behind the card table and uh, I'll teach you how to do it. This video is brought to you by 52cards.com. If you wanna learn more about card magic, visit the website to access a full tutorial library for free with hundreds of more lessons that are neatly organized by difficulty level and category. You can also check out our shop to find premium designer playing cards from all of the top brands, which are perfect to practice and perform with. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with a deck in your left hand mechanic script, and uh, we're gonna go over to an overhand grip, but it's a bit of a modified overhand grip. Normally, when you hold a deck like this, you're using the tips of your middle and ring finger on the front edge like this. Uh, now we're gonna go a bit deeper. So you're gonna go about this deep. For me, you know, it might vary from hand to hand, but for me, it's like the first knuckle right here is contacting the front edge right here. Okay, and that extended deeper grip is gonna give us uh, more control through this riffling action, okay? So boom, boom, right there on the front, middle and ring finger. First finger is curled up on top and then pinky's on the right side, okay? And then thumb is kind of where it normally is gonna be. From here, we're gonna be rotating the deck up like this. Okay, so you're kind of turning your hand palm up and you're gonna end up with the deck vertical, in a vertical position. From here, uh, what we need to practice is just this riffling motion. So before we get into the actual shuffle, you just wanna get comfortable with riffling the cards in this fashion right here. So what's happening is you're kind of just squeezing. Well, your first finger helps in the beginning of this process. You're kind of just pushing on that top of the deck with your first finger. Um, it's like that, that pad or like the last knuckle of your first finger is laying flat across the back of the cards and just pushing. And then I'm kind of just squeezing in between my fingers here and my thumb. Okay, so you're flexing the deck. When you first get started out um, with this thing, you may wanna use kind of an older broken in deck of cards that's a bit softer that might help you with this. Eventually you'll do this with any deck of cards. It doesn't matter how stiff it is, but you know, a, a softer deck might help you out in the beginning. But you're just gonna flex the deck like so, creating a bit of tension in the cards, okay? And then all that's really happening is you're learning how to do a controlled release from your thumb. Okay, so your thumb's gonna be kind of pulling back and doing this motion, allowing those cards to fall off and riffle in a, in a smooth, consistent, controlled fashion. Okay, so you're just gonna have to you know, do quite a few repetitions of this until it's completely comfortable. Okay, and you wanna make sure uh, you know the cards aren't flying anywhere. You're just maintaining full control over them throughout the riffle. Okay, and then you kind of end in a position like this. Once you are able to do that, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna riffle off about half of the deck. And once again, you know, you'll get better and better at estimating you know, what half the deck actually is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just you know, try to get as close as you can to about half. And then uh, once you've done that, you're gonna stop the riffle, and then you're gonna approach with your left hand. And uh, what you're doing here is you are contacting right here with your thumb, you're kind of pinching. And then using the my right middle and ring finger, I'm kind of levering that half the deck up. And then at this point, for a, for a moment, I'm holding the deck like this. I'm kind of straddling it between my pinky and my first finger right here on the edges. And then my left middle and ring fingers are on the bottom. I continue to pivot up until my thumb is able to grab the top edge. At this point, I take my first finger, I curl it on top just like I am with here. Basically, you're creating a mirror uh, reflection of your right hand. You wanna have these two packets in the exact same position, just in opposite hands. 
and um, and yeah, once again, you want kind of want to use a deeper grip here uh, on that edge with your middle and ring finger. Now, once you're here, you once again want to practice this riffling action with your left hand until you're completely comfortable with it. And once again, you want to be able to kind of riffle them off in as uh, consistent and smooth way as possible. In the beginning, you may be like riffling off chunks and blocks, um, but that's not ideal. You want to practice at the point where it's just a very smooth riffle and you're riffling them off one card at a time, okay? Once you're comfortable with doing that with both hands, now you're ready to actually do the shuffle. And you're basically just gonna be riffling off both hands simultaneously, and you're gonna be bringing your hands together uh, close enough so that once this riffling action starts, the cards will overlap one another. And now you don't want them to overlap that much, just a little bit. So let me give you an example of what it is for me, like that. So let me, make them completely square so you can kind of clearly see how much overlap there is. It's not much. It's like maybe half an inch at most, quarter of an inch, something like that. Okay, that's all you really need uh, for the overlap. So let's go back. We're gonna be in this position right here. You're riffling them off. You're letting the cards overlap. Sometimes, here's just another idea, sometimes what people do is they'll only overlap the corners, like either the back corners or maybe even the front corners. And then, and then they kind of square up. Now you don't want to square up too much. Once again, you just want a little bit of overlap between them. Uh, but it doesn't matter, that's just a preference. Do it however you want to do it, okay? Let me start from the beginning here, 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 and then here, okay? Once you're in this position, um, you're now you're ready to do the bridge action to square up the deck, which looks like this. This is kind of the flourishy aspect of it. Uh, but it also serves the purpose of squaring up the deck. So to do this, there's a few key points here. You need to have your thumb, either one or both of your thumbs on top, right at the intersection point, and that's gonna be applying pressure down, okay? My left, middle, and ring fingers of each hand is on the bottom, providing support, and my pinkies are on the back edge, my first finger's on the front edge. At this point, what's happening is I'm kinda just, with my middle and ring finger of each hand, I'm kind of pushing up, and then I'm applying pressure downwards with my thumb. That's a, that's a big deal, because if you don't do that, if your thumbs aren't here to stabilize, the packets are just gonna fall apart. Okay, so the thumbs play a, a pivotal role there. They're applying pressure down, you're going up, and then to you're gonna end up like in a bridge position, right? Now to begin the actual cascading or the bridge action, um, all I'm doing is I'm kind of relaxing both hands. I'm, you know, moving them away from each other just a little bit. And then I'm also opening up my right hand fingers from the bottom. And that's gonna cause that action to happen. Now, it's gonna take a bit of practice to get it smooth and uh, consistent. But eventually, it's gonna look like that. Now, the more singly you're able to do that initial riffle shuffle process, the, the more consistent the alteration is, um, the, the better the bridge is gonna be. If you have blocks or chunks in there, it, it's not gonna be nearly as good, okay? So you, you're here, you create the bridge, and then you release the tension, allowing the cards to kind of coalesce. You're just gonna have to experiment with it a little bit. You're gonna have to you know adjust your finger positions a little bit to the point where you're able to get it but with enough practice and with enough repetitions, you just get a really good looking shuffle. It does an excellent job of mixing the cards and uh, it's just a really, really good method to know. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, please do hit that like button down below. Leave a comment that helps the algorithm, it helps the channel out. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you later. Peace.